All kinds of good stuff. Well, there must be another bear up there or something. Or a sheep. Probably a sheep. I would guess. Well, that's cool. I got to, you know, all shitting aside here. I don't know what in the hell, how in the hell they do such a great job with a freaking camera. Uh, uh, a phone in the camera. Which, there, there's not nearly as much horsepower, or maybe there is, as a regular camera. But my goodness, these freaking phones do great. Like I was telling the old man, if, uh, if I'd have known that this camera, or this phone, took these kind of pictures, I would not have bought the camera. But the, I mean, it's beautiful. Everything is fixed up for you. Everything pops right. Everything's in focus. Yeah, pretty amazing. And definitely a really good backup solution when your other camera runs out of battery juice. But I think this is Big Thompson Canyon. Right over here, there's a, I don't know if you can see it, there's a creek there. And people have been fishing and all kinds of stuff. And there's more people here. I'm guessing it's another goat, probably. Oh yeah, a bunch of them. A bunch of goats. Problem is, unless you have a massive freaking zoom lens, you're not gonna be able to see them. They're not gonna look like anything. And everybody's doing it with their cell phone. Unfortunately, this doesn't have a zoom on it. So yeah, you're not gonna be able to see the sheep. But you know, they can probably spice it up on Instagram or whatever. Make it look all right, I don't know. But yeah, so uh, the wonderful contrast between the, you know, the dark and the light looks good. It's my favorite part, you can do that. Everything's washed out, I don't know. Just doesn't look right. But this looks pretty good. And speaking of another national park in Colorado, my understanding is that the Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park is hardly ever visited. It's very few visitors out there, and it is absolutely beautiful. And nobody seems to go. Now it's out in Gunnison, out that way, so it's way in uh, western Colorado. So people probably just don't go out there all that much. But that might be another bucket list because my understanding is that it's really, really awesome. So we'll, we'll see. First thing I got to do is get back to Denver. <laughs> 36 was freaking bumper to bumper out of Estes Park. So it's like, okay, I'm taking the back way backwards. We'll go to Loveland and then uh, down. Go to Boulder and Longmont. But another thing while we're on the topic, this Mustang hang handles very well. It is... I think it's all right. Glen Haven, no. Wrong one. Well, anyway, I better concentrate on what I'm doing. See ya! <clears throat> By the way, you could not come to Estes Park without visiting the Stanley. This is allegedly where the, the Shining was done, right? I believe this was, so... I just kind of blew by it. It's like, oh, wait a minute. Isn't this the area where the, they have the shining business going on. What is this? Oh, it's just a... So, there you, there you go. What does he say? Daddy's home or whatever. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, I just wanted to do that real quick. My camera ran out of juice. And for some reason, 
the USB thingy isn't charging it. So. With Shelly, what the hell was her name? Shelly Duvall, Jack Nicholson, Red Rum, Red Rum, Red Rum. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha!